Today I spent the morning sampling in Dixie Valley, Nevada, which is about a two-hour drive east of Reno off of Highway 50. The main road into Dixie Valley has a sign and is paved, and the spot where I was today was about two miles from the sign. I was sampling next to the collar of the Delta Mine, which was advertised for sale by the Department of Land Transfer, which also sells many claims on eBay. These are the people who have a seal, Agriculture and Commerce 1776, on their advertisements, yet have no government affiliations. I'm looking for a claim where I could set up my dry washer, and after reading the Department of Land Transfer's advertisement, decided to take them up on their word. I quote from their advertisement on the Delta Mine. We did some extensive testing in the general vicinity of the mine with an Olympus Delta Premium handheld XRF analyzer spectrometer to look for gold and silver. And without even entering the mine, there were good enough numbers from the material just lying on the ground to justify doing some dry washing. I would suggest you spend a weekend running the top two or three feet of topsoil and gravel in about a 10-foot radius of the mine shaft and take the concentrates home to pan. A couple of days worth of work should be enough to pay for the mine. Then make your plans to open the vein on the surface or enter the shaft to pull some more materials. End of quote. So I got permission from the department to sample their claim prior to making any purchase decisions. So here is my first sampling dig. Then I set up a dry washer and went to work. Here is some footage of that. I use a Fritz Clemens dry washer because it does a great job at capturing gold and is easy to set up, relatively light, and does not belt out an obnoxious engine sound that people can hear for a mile. Here was my second sampling hole, and as you can see, once again, I removed quite a bit of material, certainly three bucket loads, if not more. All of the material came from the mine, and from the rock shown here, the old-timers were following an ancient river channel. Some of the rocks from the first hole sampled were cemented aggregate, and I wonder if this super-hard material served as a false bedrock for gold capture. I also excavated a third hole, and here it is, and again more rock that happened to be river burden. So for all three holes, here are part of the finds. Black sand, but nary the smallest flake of gold. The delta mine, for my part, was an absolute and complete bust. I did not make a purchase here, and I did cover the sample holes. Lesson learned. Before you put your cash down, always sample. Now, maybe I sampled in the wrong areas, but this certainly would not have been the right purchase for me.